My name is Troy Parfit. I'm the author of The Devil and His Due, How Jordan Peterson Plagiarizes Adolf Hitler. And in this video, you're going to hear JP and AH in dialogue, so to speak. Act 1, Scene 3. Hitler, the concept of the equality of values. When people are equal, this must result in subjugating the genius to the majority. Peterson, absolute equality would therefore require the sacrifice of value itself. Hitler, since one voke is not equal to another, the value of a voke is not equal to the value of another voke. Peterson, we are not equal in ability or outcome and never will be. Hitler, I sought to secure equal rights for Germany, so do not talk to us about equal rights. Peterson, equality of opportunity? Damn straight. Equality of outcome? Sounds good. How about no? Under no circumstances whatsoever. Hitler, young men should be schooled to observe the strictest discipline, interfering with his own freedom. Peterson, if a father disciplines his son properly, he obviously interferes with his freedom. Hitler, become disciplined. Peterson, become self-disciplined. Hitler, in joyful self-discipline. Peterson, development of self-discipline. Hitler, the army developed the individual's powers of resolute decision. The individual soldier is not initiated in the knowledge of high strategical plans, but he is trained to submit to a rigid discipline. Peterson, it was the discipline of the Germans, not their criminality, that made the Nazis fearsome. Hitler, it was imperative to introduce rigid discipline into our meetings and establish the authority of the chairman absolutely. Peterson, the devil is the spirit who underlies the spirit of totalitarianism, the spirit who is characterized by rigid ideological belief. Hitler, we must have a community which is precisely defined, rigidly organized, of one mind and one will. Peterson, and when they march, the Nazi soldiers, they're in perfect lines, in perfect squares, and they're all going like this, goose-stepping, you know? It's absolutely rigid, orderly perfection. Hitler, the Jews themselves. Peterson, the Jews always blamed themselves. Hitler, the Jews form a distinct nation themselves. Peterson, Hebrews organize themselves. Hitler, they shall be punished. Peterson, punished severely. Hitler, punished more severely. Peterson, severely punished. Hitler, punishment for these crimes was a hard and severe one. Peterson, crime and punishment. Hitler, crime and punishment. Ah, could our workers but share Dostoevsky's forebodings about the Jews, particularly those who hope for salvation from the Soviets? Peterson, Dostoevsky's claim was that without any fundamental religious value, there's no reason why you can't do anything you want. And that's his famous line, if there's no God, then everything is permitted. And all of Dostoevsky's novel writing is an exploration of that idea. For example, Crime and Punishment, and The Devils, or The Possessed, which is an examination of what that idea means if it's gripped by an individual who has political ambition. And that's what Dostoevsky basically prophesied that one of the consequences of the death of God would be the rise of communist totalitarianism, and Nietzsche made exactly the same prediction. Hitler, we need free men who feel and know that God is in themselves. Peterson, Nietzsche asked, must we not ourselves become gods? Hitler, Nietzsche went so far as to recognize the Superman as a new biological variety. Man is becoming God. That is a simple fact. Peterson, Nietzsche believed that the only possible way out of the problem would be for human beings themselves to become something akin to God and create their own values. That was the overman, or the superman, and that was one Nietzschean philosophy that the Nazis, I would say, took out of context and used to fuel their, you know, superior man ideology. Hitler, the superiority of the white race, different race values. Peterson, different standards of value. Hitler, we National Socialists base our standards of value in appraising a state for racial quality. Peterson, 
We require rules, standards, values. Hitler, value of the individual, individual value. Peterson, value of the individual, individual value. Hitler, intrinsic value, fixed values, relative value. Peterson, intrinsic value, fixed value, relative value. Hitler, the value of their cultures. Peterson, the value of culture. Hitler, cultural characteristics and values. Peterson, culturally determined values. Hitler, nothing of value. Peterson, nothing of value. Hitler, no, under these circumstances, there is no value in continuing the struggle. It is pointless, no meaning, and no value. Peterson, there would be no value, and therefore no meaning. Hitler, the deeper meaning underlying the events of last year. Peterson, a deeper meaning was required. Hitler, the real depth and meaning of anything. Peterson, make meaning itself well up from the most profound depths of your being. Hitler, the means to an end, as a means to an end. Peterson, the means to an end, as a means to a given end. Hitler, the best means of doing so. Peterson, the best means and the best goals. Hitler, by no means what is called a good boy. Peterson, by no means synonymous with good. Hitler, war is the continuation of politics. Peterson, the reasons for war, many believe, are rooted in politics. Hitler, wage war, engage in war, war was absolutely inevitable. Peterson, wage war, engage in war, the inevitability of war. Hitler, weapons of war. Peterson, weapons of war. Hitler, fought the worst war. Peterson, we fought the war. Hitler, involved in ten wars. Peterson, involved in such a war. Hitler, involvement in the world war. When the war is over, it turns peace into hell. Peterson, involvement in warfare is something that can open a gateway to hell. Hitler, hell, death, and the devil. Peterson, death, toil, and evil. Hitler, the eternal hatred of that cursed race. Peterson, hell, where our resentment and hatred would eternally sentence everyone. Hitler, to the devil with it all. Peterson, to hell with everything. Hitler, I intensely loathed the whole gang of miserable party politicians who had betrayed their people. Peterson, I have repeatedly observed the transformation of mere existential misery into outright hell by betrayal and deceit. Hitler, they felt they had been betrayed. Peterson, the horror you feel when you have been profoundly betrayed. Hitler, deceived and betrayed. Peterson, betrayal and deception. Hitler, to play traitor like Judas for 30 pieces of silver and betray whatever secrets they can discover. Peterson, then Judas, who had betrayed him, brought again the 30 pieces of silver. Hitler, if we devalue the German mark and betray the savers, do you think that would make the German Vogue happy? Peterson, hyperinflation in Germany wiped out all the people who were prudent and saved, and left them with a terrible sense that the entire system had betrayed them, which is, of course, exactly what had happened. Hitler, the insane act of Versailles. Peterson, the Germans went through hyperinflation of insane proportions. Hitler, the Treaty of Versailles is founded on a monstrous lie. Peterson, Hitler viewed himself as someone who was Germany's only hope, as a bulwark from the encroachment of communism from the East, and also someone who could conceivably restore Germany to some of the power that had been stripped from the country by the Versailles Treaty, which was blatantly vengeful. Hitler, filled with a desire for revenge. Peterson, the desire for revenge, the terrible desire to seek vengeance. Hitler, take its vengeance. Peterson, take vengeance. Hitler, the Vogue would finally wreak its vengeance. Peterson, 
to wreak havoc and gain his vengeance. Hitler, the goddess of vengeance, was now getting ready to redress the treason of the 9th of November, 1918. Peterson, the most terrible monster that the great goddess of chaos could produce, in her most vengeful and destructive moments. Hitler, at the moment when in fear and despair, our movement sees the approach of the red monster. Peterson, chaos is the despair and horror you feel when you have been profoundly betrayed. Hitler, to despair of the reason of the world. Some express it in a form of discouragement and despair, others show it in resentment and anger and indignation. Peterson, there are endless reasons to despair of this world, and to become angry and resentful and to seek revenge. Hitler, to put an end to this truly original sin of racial corruption, which is steadily being passed on from one generation to another. Peterson, the characteristics of other corrupt and imperfect creations, including physical man, contaminated by original sin and his own transgressions. Hitler, the evil consequences will soon manifest themselves. Peterson, evil manifesting itself, once it has manifested itself, that is evil. Hitler, manifestation of instinct. Peterson, manifestation of instinct. Hitler, no longer manifests itself. Peterson, no longer manifests itself. Hitler, manifestation of our fratricidal strife. Peterson, manifested in interpersonal strife. Hitler, everyone who believes in the higher evolution of living organisms must admit that every manifestation of the vital urge and struggle to live must have had a definite beginning in time and that one subject alone must have manifested it for the first time. Peterson manifests itself as a struggle. If you allow yourself to be informed by the reality manifesting itself as you struggle forward, your notions of what is important will change. Hitler, nevertheless, we brought down these manifestations and eliminated them, and moreover, today we have power. Peterson, the hatred manifests itself with absolute identification with destructive power in biological manifestations, manifests itself in the desire for the absolute extinction of existence. Hitler, we must desire a similar order. Peterson, totalitarianism, or desire for absolute order. Hitler, the desired effect, desired results. Peterson, the desired effect, desired result. Hitler, movements too can reach the goal of their desires. Peterson, what is desired depends upon the goal, desire for movement toward a better future. Hitler, in the future also, suffused by the single desire to follow you blindly toward the attainment of the greatest of victories. Peterson, attainment of what is desired presently necessarily interferes with attainment of what is desired in the future. Hitler, victory over the fighting forces of our enemy. Peterson, victory over the forces of darkness. Hitler, then disaster must result if victory not be achieved on the very first day of the fight. Peterson, when we are defeated, we act very much like lobsters who have lost the fight. Hitler, we will survive this. It often seems to me as though we have to go through all the trials of the devil, Satan, and hell until we finally gain the final victory. Peterson, if people are in the state of chaos, they're attracted by order, and so you always have to give the devil his due. If you're trying to understand something like Nazism, you have to understand why it might be attractive to someone like you. This brings us to the end of Act 1, Scene 3, and the end of this three-part in-dialogue series. Again, my name is Troy Parfit, and I'm the author of The Devil and His Due, How Jordan Peterson Plagiarizes Adolf Hitler. Thank you for listening and viewing, and feel free to like this video and share.